right, next comes the fly or the, the bow housing. We gotta do a couple little things here. We gotta drill out these two bottom holes at 17, 30 seconds. And then we gotta cut us a little clearance right here for this little lip right here. So that way my beautiful SM420 that I did a spray can rebuild with fits onto there. And that will go to there. And then we'll Oh yeah, so if you noticed it didn't come, you know, I had that automatic and now we're putting this four speed in and my bow housing that I got of marketplace didn't come with bolts so so these are the original bow housing bolts that I got off uh, one of my bow housings here uh, they're a half inch by 13 thread coarse thread and then three of them are one and three quarters and this big one here is two inches so three and then one is a two inches uh, the big one I think goes down here. That's what is this bottom passenger side here? It's got this huge chunk. That's what size these bell housing boats come in. Uh, a lot of times you get these bell housing without bolts, so there we go. So, what we're going to do now is mate these, but we can't do it because up here let's see here right like that okay so what we're going to do here is mate these but I can't get a full bolt on it here because it's hitting right there so we're gonna have to do a little cutting here. A little cutting. Then I wanna, I like to have a peephole right there. So, the inspection. Got us an inspection window here. Cut that little window out here. That way we get full seat mint. <laughs> installed thought I needed washers but I didn't took them back out and here you need a wrench on this side you can't get a socket in there Got socket on that other side and the two in the bottom yep this thing's ready so I got two transmissions here that I'll be messing around with the next couple weekends uh, I'm going to be testing out some stuff. Um, we got uh, clutch plates. Um, we got two kinds, a look, and then the other kind from the big Willie's Parts House, uh, the kits that they sell. So we're going to test those out. Uh, the clutch disc, um, you know, the big uh, uh, parts houses, they come with a disc. Um, we're going to test those. And then uh, online, um, People are saying different kinds and whatnot, so we're gonna test those out. A couple of them, I got a couple of them, and then we'll test them out just to mess around out here. Uh, I got this out, you know, why not? Uh, hydraulic clutches, I got two of them. I'm gonna test them both out, see which one works. Um, let me see here, oh yeah, these holes, see inspection holes here. These are all, if you want to do it, I mean, you don't, those are not required at all. So I wouldn't sweat those if you don't want to do that. But if you do do it, do it correctly not like me <laughs> they're about what is that like one inch right there that's where it would be better right there that works you can totally see down in there and make see the clutch work but you have to hover over on top of it uh, back here when I'm you know actually doing the 
clutch lever and whatever I could be looking straight into it so but that works but like on the trail uh, you get some clutch issues or something like that and you want to take off the cover and take a look down there that's uh that's a good thing to have slum dogs and little brothers are exactly like this and they've been open there's there's never been an issue you know years like this so uh, my other one also has one but it's a little low so if it was one inch, it'd be a little bit up top here. So, but that works perfect. Um, nothing wrong with that either. So yeah, uh, to cover these up, uh, you could either make one or what I think I'm gonna do is buy a T90 plate here, the, the cover plate, and then uh, drill and tap those holes and just cover it. And that way, if you ever need to use it again, you just unbolt it, you know? So I'll do that uh, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, those are just if you want to um, you can also observe the clutch from down into there you know so but you know um, yeah we'll be messing around with these things for the next couple weekends and uh, thanks for watching